Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a modern desert house. Now it's going to be a large house, and the cool thing is I want to create a modern style and have that urban feel to it. Now the great thing here, guys, you're also going to have a tons of space on the inside, so you can really expand on what you want to create. You can add some redstone if you want to, and the cool thing is we also have about three floors, which is the basement, a first floor, a second floor, and an optional attic if you really want to take it there. That's I'll leave that up to you guys and really make that choice. Now, as you can see, guys, um, we're going to jump right into it. Don't want to talk too much about it. So at this point, pause the video and make sure you have the setting. I mean, you want to have the spacing. It is a large house, so make sure you make the room to really place this where you want to place it at. All right, now you're going to jump right here to this corner, guys. And you're going to go about three blocks in. So one, two, three, place your block there. And you're going to count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're going to place another block right there. Now we're going to start making the foundation. Now at this point, guys, add some stairs from one end all the way down to the corner. Like so. And starting from the inside here, you're going to add five half slabs. Well, slabs. Then you're going to add another row of blocks. Then you add one more row of blocks with some slabs right on top of it. As you see, we already created three steps. We're going to create three more. So at this point, guys, you want to create three more steps like so. You see what we did right here? And pretty much you're going to extend it from one side to the other. Now the top step will be about three blocks in height. See what we're doing? And it really gives a nice natural feel to it. I love it. Now this wall itself will be three blocks in height and you're going to extend that all the way to the end, but you're going to bring it all the way back to about one block from the actual edge. I want to show you what that means. Now instead of bringing that all the way here, you're going to trim that edge right there and curve your stair. So place another stair right there to create another detail feature. Now we're going to go right here to the back end corner and count about one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Place a stair right there and extend it all the way up to the front. And once again, you're going to extend this wall all the way down to the end. Now, right over here, guys, right there to the edge, like we did previously, you're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stairs like so, and two blocks. Then you add a two-block space and one block right in the corner, and of course, you're going to extend that upwards. And I want you to connect it to this wall right here. Now, once you've done that, guys, add an upside down stairs right there, and that's going to be the back entrance to your house. Right here, guys, you're actually going to line this up with the stairs in the front, you see? So take this block right here and line it up with that three block height over there in the front. Now, you're going to raise this an additional two blocks in height. So it should have a total of three blocks as far as the wall wise. And all you're going to do, guys, is replicate the front stairs into the back. And that's what all it is. Right now, we're just creating a mirror image from one side to the other. See? Perfect. So you should have this kind of look at this point. See, everything's kind of lined up nicely. Now, right here in the front, guys, you're going to add an additional one, two, three, four, making a total of five. Then you're going to add a block right there. See? That's how it lines up perfectly. And extend that all the way to the front. Well, to the side over here. <laughs> Leaving a two-block spacing, okay? Now, once you've done that, guys, we're going to extend this forward. And like I said previously, we're going to create the same steps. So you're going to add your combination of slabs and blocks like so. Now right over here, guys, you're going to add some blocks. And of course, we're going to continue the same pattern. And 
and bring that all the way forward. Then remember, you have that two block spacing right there. You're going to add a block right there on the side and of course extend it forward as well. Now once you line up here guys, you're going to place a block there when you line up with the edge of that stairs and delete that block because you want to create this kind of offset and connect it with the rest of the wall. Which is perfect. Now at this point guys, you're going to raise that about three blocks in height all around. All right, now guys, to really spice this up and really add a little more, I'm gonna show you a little cool style to really add to this if you want to. You can either leave it like this, or you can add a half slab right there. And we're gonna create a five by five spacing. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we're gonna create a bit of a transition. Because you want this to be your backyard, you know what I mean? You want this to come around and just wrap around nicely. So you're going to add some blocks right there and put it to that edge, okay? Because what we're doing is we're creating the same step pattern, but wrapping it around. You see? So that when you come out to your backyard, you can come out in either direction with no issue. See? And like I say, guys, it really creates a nice urban feel. And you, of course, trim it up, add some blocks here. And then let's cover this up with some blocks to really line this up nicely. Fantastic. That's going to be the back porch, technically. And we're going to repeat that over here in the front. So take some blocks there, line it up all the way across. And, of course, fill in the top gap. Now, once you're done, guys, your whole foundation should be done at this point. Now you're gonna add some stairs right there at that edge and wrap it all around, okay? You're gonna wrap it to the back stairs like so. You're gonna delete that, add a stair right there, which is fantastic. Then you're gonna go right over here at this edge, add another stair right there, and you're gonna wrap it around so you connect with the other stairs, see? Fantastic, now we're gonna start with the first floor. You're going to add two, three blocks like so with three, two stairs. <laughs> then you're going to add three blocks, two stairs, then three more, and two stairs, five blocks, leave a gap. And you're going to add two more blocks like so, then two stairs, three blocks, and of course, two stairs, and your last three blocks right here at the edge. Now we're going to go to the right side of the building. Now you're going to add one, two, three, add two stairs, add five blocks in between, two more stairs, then five more, well, three more blocks at the edge. Now right here at this edge again, guys, we're going to repeat this with three more blocks, one, two, three, two stairs, one, two, three, two stairs, one, two, three, two stairs, then one, two, three, leave a gap, then one, two, three, four, like so. Now let's go over here to this edge, add one, two, three, two stairs, one, two, three, and then of course your final two stairs. Now right here on the left hand side guys, we're going to finish this off. So once again, we're going to add one, two, three, two stairs, then let's go to this side, one, two, three two stairs, and fill in the gap like so. All right, now right here between the windows, guys, you're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, well, four blocks. So once again, add four blocks like so. And we're gonna pretty much create this kind of framework. So between the windows, guys, of the stairs, you're gonna add four blocks spruce wood or whatever wood you want to use or any color you want to use to represent the shutters of the window and you're going to do that right across to each window okay guys now once you've done that you should have this kind of look at this point now you're going to take your block of choice to represent the house and bring it right up like so and fill in that gap and put two upside down stairs creating the full window you see now, right here where the door entrance is, guys, we're going to make that slightly different. 
Gonna add some blocks right there in the side. Fill that up. And add two stairs parallel to the fifth block. So basically you're gonna have two blocks of space, two stairs, then two more spaces, and then of course two stairs. You see? Now once again, guys, we're gonna fill this up and repeat this pretty much same pattern all around. So I'm gonna do this a little further on. And just so you guys get the gist of it. I mean, I don't want you guys to mess up at any point. And I want you to understand there's a repetitive pattern when it comes to these kind of things. So, of course, the windows are going to add the stairs in an inverted state. And do this right across, guys. Okay? And in between, guys, just fill in the gaps. Now, pause the video and make sure you have this done before you continue on. Now, once again, guys, you might want to pause this again because this is going to take time as well. And you're going to fill in this entire gap because that's going to be the first floor. Awesome. Now, at this point, it should look like this. I mean, you should have this kind of foundation. It makes it easier to work with. And, of course, you're going to add the thin panels of glass in between so that it can line up nicely with the stairs and create a nice, realistic feel to it. Now, on top here, guys, you're going to... Pretty much wrap it around with some blocks of your choice, you see? And bring it out right there at that edge. That's going to be the only difference. Wrap it right around and one more right there. Then you're going to add some spruce wood underneath or any kind of dark color. And at this point... We're going to add another row of blocks right there on the top end and wrap it right around to the other side. So on both edges, you should have that right there like so, and you should have this kind of look. Now, right over here at this edge, guys, you're going to add an upside down stairs parallel to the panels, the window panels. And right underneath, guys, you're going to wrap it around with some half slabs like so, and right there on the edges, and of course, repeat this all around the entire house. All right, those so really coming together, guys. I'm really excited about this. Now, right here, parallel to the door, you see where I'm at? You're going to add a beam or whatever you want to use. You're going to add that parallel to those stairs that we place on top of the panels. And add some trimming like so. You're going to create the same exact pattern. Over here, you're going to do the same exact thing. Add whatever you want to use as a beam. Add some upside down stairs. Now, that's really going to give the detail. And right over here, guys, you can replicate the same beam that you're using or leave it blank. You can delete that. And that's going to give that extra detail. So add your stairs right there. And you should have this kind of look. And place your half slab right back. At this point, guys, we're going to add some half slabs connecting the beams right from the tip of the actual um, upside down stairs. And it's going to really create that function of an actual structure. I mean, it really creates that support and really creates that realism. Now, you're going to go back and forth with half slabs and upside down stairs to create the rails of the actual porch. I mean, it's going to really look nice. It's going to really pop it out. And you guys are going to love it. It's going to really make a world of difference in my book. But like I said, guys, you could always switch this up. I mean, this is not concrete. So if you guys want to use something else, that's perfectly fine. I mean, you want to customize this to your own personal style. Now, of course, you're going to repeat this all the way over here till you get to this edge like so. Now, starting here, right, you're going to expand that outwards and place it right where the stairs are at. You see? See how the stairs are right there? And we're just kind of extending the whole thing. Now, once again, guys... We're going to add some half slabs like so. And just wrap it around because we want to make it part of the structure. And of course, in between, guys, connect that like so with the same color that you're going to use for the stair to really make it pop out just a bit more and give that functionality. Now, let's cover this up like so right here at the edge. And right here in this three block gap, guys, we're going to place a block there. 
or um, and just add some glowstone. But like I said, guys, it's completely optional. I like to add the glowstone because it lights up the porch. It creates a realism effect and it really makes it look nice. And you can see all that is lit up. I mean, it looks great. It looks fantastic. You can see the contrast in colors. And all honesty, I, I mean, it's my personal opinion. I just, I love it. <laughs> now, right here at the edge, guys, are going to wrap this around with some stairs all the way around the edge. Now, at this point, guys, we're going to start on the second floor. We're going to start with our foundation of three blocks with three stairs. Then you're going to add three more blocks with three stairs, three blocks, three stairs, and, of course, connect that right there to the edge. Then you're going to make this one solid line of blocks, like so. And right there at the edge, it's going to consider one block, okay? So you're going to add two more blocks right next to it. Then two stairs, one block. Then you got to add a total of four stairs in between with one block, then two stairs, and of course, three blocks like so. Now, it's going to be slightly different, guys. Starting with the first one there, we're going to add two more blocks, a total of three. Then one, two, three. Then one, two, three, four blocks like so. Then three blocks of stairs. Then another five blocks of stairs, or well, five blocks, then three stairs. And of course, connect that to the edge. My God, I'm getting tongue tied. All right, now let's start with the other side, guys. It's going to be the same kind of pattern. I'm going to start adding an additional four blocks, making a total of five with three, then five blocks like so, then one, two, three, and of course, one, two, three, four, five. See? All right, it's really coming together. So we're going to add two more blocks with three stairs one two three then three stairs one two three then three stairs and one two three you're gonna leave that blank and go to the other side right over here and add one two making a total of three blocks then three stairs three blocks three stairs then add three blocks and pretty much just connect that for now all right we're gonna connect that just for the meantime and we're pretty much I'm going to start working on this bottom porch in the back end. So whatever you want to use as your beam, you're going to place it right there on both edges, okay? See? Right there. Perfect. Now you can add your upside down stairs like so. And add it right here. And once again, guys, we're going to replicate the same style. Now, we're going to delete this and add some blocks right across, like we did previously in the front. Delete that. Add some blocks right there. Delete that. And right over here, guys, we're going to add some half slabs. Right there but before we do that make sure you add some stairs to line up all the beams perfectly with the frame of the building now you're gonna add your half tabs right underneath like I said previously and you're gonna line it up and connect it like so because once again we're repeating the same pattern then add your stairs right around the entire thing until you connect to the other side now, to add a little more detail, guys, add some upside down stairs right there at the edge. And trust me, it's going to give some really nice contrast. Awesome. Then you can see the repetition that we're doing here. Now, let's delete these stairs. Because we're not going to be needing them at the moment. And, of course, fill that with a bright color. And like I said previously, add some glowstone if you want to, or any kind of light source, to really make this pop out a little more. And right here on the top end, guys, you're going to add some half slabs like so. One is going to give that nice contrast of the fence, and it's going to prevent any mobs from spawning. Now, we're going to line up the doors evenly like we did in the bottom, okay? So delete the ones in the center. Add two solid blocks right there. And you add one, two, three, four. And just kind of raise that up a little bit. 
Now, of course, you need two blocks of space for the actual door, then add some two stairs like so. Then you add one, two, three, four panels, and extend this up and add some upside down stairs. Now, that framework is going to be a nice guideline as we start building the second floor. You see how everything's kind of lined up nicely with the doors? Now, once again, guys, right where the windows are at, you're going to add four blocks, whatever you want to use to represent the windows. Now, when I mean represent, I mean the actual panels of the windows. But in this case, you're going to add five blocks on each one. Because the second floor, it will be a little taller than the first floor. Once again, you're going to fill this up like so. And as we've done previously, guys, we're going to add some blocks right on top and repeat the same exact thing. So add the upside down stairs right there at the edges and then fill in the gaps with some solid blocks, which will represent the wall of the building itself. Now pause the video if you have to, guys, because this does take time. Now the reason why the top floor is a little bigger, because once we place the floor, the floor is actually parallel with the windows itself, you see, whereby the second floor, well, the first floor is not the same. Fantastic. Now, at this point, guys, you're going to add your thin glass panels in between each window to really give it that extra detail. Fantastic. All right, so we're really almost done with this. Now, of course, you're going to ask your upside down stairs in front of each window panel. And of course, repeat this all around. Once you've done that, guys, you're going to add another row of blocks right on top of that edge, like so, and wrap that right around the entire house. Then you're going to add your half slabs parallel to the stairs, and of course, wrap that as well around the entire house, like so. Now, once you've done that, you're going to add a row of blocks like so, right on top of that, and once again, we're going to repeat this and wrap it right around. Then starting from the edge right there, guys, we're going to add a half slab right there at that edge, and once again, we're going to wrap it right around. Now we're going to add some stairs right over here. And once, I said, once again, guys, this gets very repetitive. So you're going to go back and forth with the stairs all the way up. Now, the kind of pattern we're going for is a stair and a half slab, you see? So pause the video and remember this, because as you're making the roof, we're going to go with the same exact pattern, you see? So half slab, then stair, half slab, stair. And it creates this nice, realistic transition. So... For the meantime, pause the video, set up your roof the way you want to set it up. Because trust me, it's going to be tedious, and you'll be going back and forth like so. Now, to really add some more details, at certain parts like over here, you can actually cut it off. You know what I mean? Add some stairs, and just fill in the gap with some half slabs. Now, the cool thing here, guys, we're going to add a nice... Um, I guess kind of balcony kind of thing, but not really. It's going to be kind of like an overhang. And we're going to use some wood fencing to really give it that desert feel and kind of give it that dry effect. I mean, it's going to look really nice. It's going to really add some nice detail to your building or your house in this case. And it's um, you can really make your own style with it. I mean, bring it out where it's connected with the bottom support beams. And as you can see, guys, it looks amazing. Now, at this point, guys, the building is complete. You can really decorate it to your own style. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.